Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to the One Drop Shower Ministry of Preparedness. My name is Mike Albert. I will be your host with the most, bringing you current events and biblical scriptures and how the Bible relates to the world and how we could better our lives with a 100-year plan of preparedness to survive in the wilderness when we get hit with um, ongoing current events and also as we see down the corridors of time, these events unfolding or plagues or quakes or invasions, wars, rumors of wars, where we need to get out of our densely populated environment and into a uh, more godly uh, nature type of uh, relationship other than uh, those marauders and scoffers uh, that don't have love in their heart or hardened hearts, uh, don't believe in God or Christ, and there's too many of them. Uh, When the odds are overwhelming, um, it's best to uh, reestablish yourself at a a, uh, more fortified fortitude uh, stronghold uh, and then to gather and pick off one at a time. Military strategy, but also uh, spiritual strategy as well uh, to help people come to Christ to get into the kingdom. Uh, we want you to live as long as possible, as healthy as possible, so you could spread the gospel uh, to more people than uh, you would be able to without that health, shelter, and protection, and food, and water, and so forth. Uh, perfect example what's going on now with Hurricane Irma and uh, you know what just happened in Texas you know uh, am I more concerned about um, you know if I'm stuck on my house roof for a week without food uh, you know scraping up what, what little water I can from the sky or the gutters of my roof if it's not above that um, how am I going to be able to preach the gospel in that situation Perhaps God is just waiting for that one person. It might take a week of you sitting on your roof for that one person to come. You know, he works in mysterious ways, and pieces of his puzzle are not comprehensible to us. So we must be patient and allow his plan to unfold. But at the same time, he calls upon us to be stewards of this vessel that he has allowed us to occupy. And uh, we have to do that by understanding the profiling of events unfolding. So if we're able to see that, you know, his 8.0 earthquake just happened last night in Mexico. So if we're able to see that uh, being in that situation or close by, what's to follow a tsunami and or aftershocks as well, you might want to, you know, get to safer grounds, a better area. You know, why are people evacuating Florida right now? because they don't want to die. (laughs) Um, You know, they don't want to be in that path of destruction and uh, chaos if they could avoid it for uh, self-preservation. It's our inherent nature to self-preserve. Insects sometimes, uh, or even packs of uh, wild animals, like uh, what they call the dingo dogs and the um, hyenas and uh, wild dogs, uh, they hunt in packs. Um, they take the stance of the greater good for the colony. Ant, even ants do that as well. Or birds, uh, schools of fish and schools of birds. Uh, they um, make themselves look larger than they really are for the good of the survival of the colony. Um, humans really aren't like that. Uh, we're pretty much, um, you know, For the most part, every man for his own. People will trample over one another for the last new and latest doll at a shopping center for their children and not worry about injury to other people. So they get that doll for Christmas. You know, we're we're a despicable species sometimes. Um, But a lot of times we're also a very kind, loving full of surprise type of species to help each other out with a lot of love. So, if you take a chance on the latter of the two, um, you know, you might be let down. So let's get into some scripture. Uh, I just found two verses here that continue with shadow uh, and how God has created this. Um, You know, you would think if we weren't 
we didn't live in a world where there were shadows, and we seen a shadow, it'd be an anomaly. Something, sometimes some things are here without a uh, shadow, and you wonder where's the shadow. Very, very rare, very little instances um, that happens. So, let's see what God has to say about this. Um, we're going to start off in Hebrews 10, verse 1. I'll be reading for the New King James Version of the Bible. This is the Andrew Study Guide. Uh, let me just see on uh, my display here what you guys are seeing. Uh, okay, let me put the map up. I don't have the map up right now. It will shrink me way down here. We don't need this either. that will give an echo, I'm sure, if it's not already. Hopefully I muted that. I did not mute that. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are hearing this now for the first time without the echo. Hopefully that wasn't echoing all along. Uh, let me get uh, the map up of the current events. Give a quick peek to see if there's any emergency in the past few minutes. No? Okay. Uh, what was that? This happened. Oh, boy. 3.6, 5.0, Mexico. Iran, 3.6, 5.0 in Mexico. Two more quakes just struck. We are being impacted right now also by the solar corona mass ejection that just happened, uh, I don't know, 24 hours ago. Uh, so that is impacting the Earth right now, and it will be for the next 24 hours. Uh, possibly 36 hours, depending upon the, how large that uh, volume of density of protons that's hitting us, uh, and the speed as well. Okay, so Hebrews 10, verse 1. Um, it has a comment for just that too as well. And this is titled, Animal Sacrifices Insufficient. For the law having a shadow of the good things to come and not the very image of the things can never with these same sacrifices oh, that doesn't make sense which they offer continually year by year make those who approach perfect let me read that again a bit long too of a verse for the law, for the law, having a shadow of the good things to come, and not the very, you know I'm having a problem reading? I didn't pray first. You gotta pray first before you read. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this ministry of preparedness. Uh, please forgive us of our sins, Lord. I invite your Holy Spirit to be here amongst us in the midst of our studying of your word. Please help us to interpret and understand uh, with wisdom and knowledge uh, of your meaning of these scriptures. Please help uh, us to relate these uh, scriptures to our lives here on earth and to win souls into your kingdom. Please bless uh, this ministry, Lord, uh, for a 100-year plan to be in the wilderness so we may win souls uh, in times of catastrophes and uh, uh, apocalyptic uh, disasters coming across the world, oppressions as well of, uh, of Christian religion. Please uh, be with all our viewers, Lord, and their families. Please bless their homes, their foods, their cars, their travels with mercy. Please bless uh, those that are evacuating from these hurricanes and earthquakes, Lord. Um, help them to rebuild their lives in the aftermath. Uh, please uh, help uh, the children especially, Lord, and the elderly uh, that are falling victims to this. Uh, help them to have courage and uh, patience, Lord, and understanding for your plan as it unfolds. Uh, we ask that you please bless the children, grandchildren, and grand and great-grandchildren of our viewers and uh, help them to get good school grades and to be protected from Satan's temptations and whispers in their ears. Please bless all their families and extended families, Lord. Please bless our nation, Lord, with uh, safety uh, on our borders and uh, on our military. Help us to be victorious um, and also the leaders of our um Constitution, Lord, help them to uh, obey the Constitution and your law above the Constitution, Lord. Please uh, help them to do righteously uh, and to glorify your name, Lord, above all laws of man. Please bless especially our President and Vice President, Lord, help them to be strong and to uh, make the right decisions 
and to uh, pray more and to praise your name, Jesus, while on the air, Lord. Help us to have our Ten Commandments proudly read. Um, perhaps the President could read the Ten Commandments right there on, on the uh, across the world, Lord. Let them understand that we are a Christian nation. Uh, please help our, to display these Ten Commandments, Lord, proudly and loudly and boldly and in large letters uh, in our courtrooms, in our uh, police departments, in our schools, regardless of their public or private or what denomination they are, in churches, and even in mosques, Lord, anywhere on this land, make it a law, Lord, that we have to display the Ten Commandments in our prisons, in our psychiatric centers, Lord. Help us to see this just randomly across buildings and street signs. Uh, let us uh, praise and worship and glorify your name, Lord, proudly. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You know, this, this whole bashing that Obama's done for eight years of, uh, of Christians has, has taken a toll, and, it, and it's only going to help us to fight and be stronger. And uh, as always, throughout the history of mankind, of, of Christians being persecuted, we get stronger. Don't, don't, don't make the mistake of beating us down and think you're going to win. You're going to lose, and you're going to lose big. Hey, look at our president, President Trump. You know, look, listen to his inauguration. Yeah, if you didn't hear it, go back and listen how many times the name Jesus was mentioned. Amen? <laughs> uh, you haven't heard it that many times in probably 50 years, in, the, in 50 minutes. All right, now we can read some scriptures. Hebrews 10, verse 1. And the title of this is, Animal Sacrifices Insufficient. For the law, having a shadow of the good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never with these same sacrifices, can never with these same sacrifices, which they offer continually year by year, make those who approach perfect. Okay? Okay, so there are these people during the times of sacrifices before the Christ uh, sacrificed himself once and for all with his blood um, that were given sacrifices in the Old Testament way at the altar, an image of heavenly sanctuary um, came to these annual rituals um, are now done away with here in Hebrews and it's describing uh, that the law itself um, is a projection of the things to come. It says, notice how it says, the good things to come, uh, but not that very image. So, the word imagery comes to mind here, but also that Laws are prophecy, it sounds like more than saying here, are interpreted at that time the best way they can be, with human words. God knew at that time when they were being unfolded, the shadow of those laws being unfolded thousands of years later, exactly how he could describe it, um, but with limited um, resources, so to say, relying on human uh, intellect uh, and uh, words that they could use, um, he used the word shadow here. In other words, the laws are, are going to unfold, but not exactly as they can be spoken uh, because of what I would call a meteorite, you know, flashing across the sky, um, they might call some, they might call it something else, describe it something else. Another, so in other words, it's hard for somebody a thousand years ago, two, four thousand years ago, to describe, you know, a vehicle with four wheels, you know, as a Mercedes. They would describe it as a chariot, you know. Um, so they use the word shadow here to 
give a broad stroke and be open-minded to alternative types of um, understandings. Law is the law. That's not going to change. God's word is everlasting. The gospel will never change. But our understanding of it uh, will shadow the law. But it's still going to go back to the original law. I guess it's sort of like a, uh, a safety net, a safety zone uh, that it could fall under. Uh, but it also gives you um, what you need, a mindset for being open-minded to what are the possibilities. And I so stress, that, I, tr I try to stress that a lot here on this um, ministry because we don't know the aftermath of such events like what are going on around the world right now as they unfold. What is the shadow of an earthquake? People dying, buildings being um, unstable, uh, power loss. What is, the, what is the shadowing of that? What is the catalyst? What is, what is going to happen? Oh, that went off the screen really quick. I tried to catch it, came up, and I clicked on it and went away. That's unusual. I'm sure it's just another earthquake aftershock from Mexico. What a shame. Try to catch those. <laughs> um, power loss is a shadow, an aftermath, a catalyst from the earthquake. Then the septic tanks overflowing from the flooding because the levees on the electric that was required to keep the uh, spillways of the dam draining at a rate goes into the septic tanks and water treatment plants and overflows cholera into the streets that people get and die from. So in other words, it's a catalyst, a shadow. That's like they're saying, they're saying in Hebrew, you see the law. Um, you cannot explain every single little minor detail of the aftermath of the effects of what's going to happen. So, you have to expand your mind upon these things and realize just because the storm is past doesn't mean it's over. Um, and it could be just as devastating, if not more devastating, those after effects. That's what I'm really trying to tell you. Now, amplify that a thousandfold. A thousand Hurricane Irma's right now coming down on the, the world, all over the world. What is the aftermath of that going to be? And put yourself in that frame of mind knowing that's how the world is going to be right before Christ comes. All those things that have unfolded in the months, years after those thousand storms devastated the planet for, say, a week straight. And you're going to have to deal with that all at once. What are the what are those variables? What are those you know A B C D? Um, and how are you going to live in the wilderness, preach the gospel, win win souls to the kingdom, feed yourself, shelter yourself, look out after others as well. Hunting, fishing, core body temperature, seasonal changes, uh, scoffers, marauders, you know people coming to steal your stuff. Then get up. Pack everything up and move because for whatever reason you have to move and do, start it all over again. That's the endurance God calls us to be uh, within our hearts and our minds when it comes to his gospel and enduring and putting up. Look what Christ did. Christ did it for how many years? Uh, putting up with people. And, but he kept moving on, moving on, moving on. Um, and you're going to have less opposition with Poor people, these wealthy, rich people that, um, you know, cry when they have a broken nail are not going to be able to relate to you so easily unless they've had their world torn down. They know they're not going back to their mansion, their yachts, and their penthouses on Fifth Avenue in Manhattan. And uh, they appreciate shelter and a meal. And you'll know in their hearts, by their actions, by the, the look in their eye. You know, that they've been humbled. And uh, this is what it takes for 
their glass to be emptied so you can work with them. You cannot work with someone who has their glass that's full. Uh, full of worldly things and possessions and uh, thinking that they are above you when we're all God's children and we're all equal. I like to look at us as skeletons. Every, everybody's a skeleton walking around. That's it. Um, there's no there's no height. There's no weight. There's no skin color. There's no uh, you know race, religion. It's important, yeah, religion out of all these things, but by the works. If you just saw people as a skeleton, what are they doing? Say you couldn't even hear. Say there was no auditory. You couldn't even hear what they were saying. What are they doing? If somebody fell, did they go over and help them up or consult them or try to heal them? <clears throat> you know, if you had the vision of just, say, an x-ray machine, what could you interpret of people? But you could see, like, nature and plants growing. You see people tending to nature, um, not being destructive. It'd be a whole other interesting world if we saw things like that. Um, like we couldn't see buildings, or we couldn't see money, or we couldn't see uh, anything else. We, we could see nature and man as a skeleton. It'd be a lot, lot better. That's my mind at work. Okay, we have a commentary for this. Let's see what it says. A shadow. Shadows are transitory, impermanent. For shadows, the author refers to the Levitical priesthood, the earthly sanctuary, and the animal sacrifices, all ritual aspects of the law that prefigured the realities of the new covenant. He argues that they were abolished once the real thing, Christ, came. The law itself, however, was confirmed by being written on the hearts of believers. Amen. Um, so shadows are transitory, impermanent. It's like a projection, a future, a to come in the future, a forecast, forecast, foreshadowing. All right, let's move on. James is the next one. James 117. It's right after Hebrews, yes. James 117. On for the commentary, we have no commentary. It says, uh, first it's titled, uh, Greeting to the Twelve Tribes, and the subtitle of Loving God Under Trials. James 1.17 Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Um, well, gifts, I know, part of the Godhead, Trinity, um, Holy Spirit, I think of Holy Spirit when I think of uh, gifts, but they are all as one as well. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights. Never heard God ex uh, described as that, Father of lights. I'd love to see a list of all ways that we are described and how God is described. Not to compare the two, just to say it's interesting how this is one of these descriptions of God, Father of Lights, uh, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Um, so a variation, there's no variation of God. There's one singular or shadow of, what did I say? Shadow of um, shadow of turning. 
I guess shadows, I guess, with the sun, it turns, the shadow turns or moves with whatever it is casting a shadow from. It would be interesting to see that God doesn't cast a shadow. Imagine that. That would have been a better. Not that I'm trying to prove the Bible, but I'm just saying uh, I would have understood it better. Yeah, perhaps that that's what that means. Um, Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Okay, so I think that's what it is saying. That God doesn't cast a shadow. <coughs> um, that he's so committed to and, and um, steadfast to his words that there's unchangeable, that there's not even a variation of that in the form of a shadow. Interesting. Okay. Well, I think that wraps it up for shadow. We'll see what the, the Sabbath brings tomorrow. I'll be doing a show tomorrow, God willing, around 1.30. And uh, let's get into some current events here. Let's see what this crazy, wacky, wacky, wacky world. All right, current emergencies. We do have that earthquake that happened in Mexico, an 8.0 with massive, massive um, aftershocks, a lot of destruction, a lot of people dead, a um, couple dozen. Uh, so let's just read a little bit of this, see what's going on. I'll make sure there's no updates as well. Updates, okay, here's an update. Uh, we make the screen bigger. We get disconnected. We're reconnected, okay. Uh, in far southern uh, Chippas State, Mexico's seismologist service said, giving an updated magnitude 8.2, it was a major earthquake in scale and magnitude, the strongest in 100 years. Uh, the president of Mexico weighed in an address from the National Disaster Prevention Center headquarters where he was supervising the emergency response. The U.S. Geological Survey put the magnitude slightly lower at 8.1 as they always do. Uh, that is the same as the devastating 1985 quake that killed more than 10,000 people in Mexico City. Uh, the country's most destructive ever and the death toll is 15 in all. Based on the figures from each state, the head of the Disasters Management Agency uh, told the radio station the most powerful quake hit Mexico in a century. Three people were in a collapsed building. Two children were killed. Uh, the governor said one was crushed by a collapsing wall. Uh, the other, an infant on a respirator, died after the quake outage. Uh, power. Oh boy. All right, we got a mess here, so... Uh, Help us to uh, pray for these folks here. And there's still more to come, I believe, from this uh, solar um, CME coming, hitting, hitting us now. I think I think it started around 11 p.m. last night. Uh, it's probably going to go for a good 36 hours. Why is my battery uh, dying? There we go. Okay, it wasn't plugged in. All right. As if, as if we don't have enough problems. Hopefully we're not going to lose power. Uh, we'll see. Uh, tropical storms. Um, we, we're getting really whacked with these. Uh, I don't know how else to put it to you. Um, you got uh, the one on the Gulf Coast that's uh, fishing about there. And Irma, of course, heading to Miami by Sunday morning. Supposed to impact the south of Florida, definitely impacting Florida one way or the other. Whether it goes straight up Florida to the east or to the west, Florida's getting hit hard. Uh, still a Category 5 right now. And then you got Jose right behind that. That's starting to impact the, uh, the Lehman Islands again right now. Let's scroll down. Forest fire in California still raging. Four hours ago, oh, lot, I mean, look at this. All the tsunami, 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 all around the ring of fire there. Uh, and a lot of, in Mexico, uh, buoys all around the ring of fire. The buoys were going off like crazy. They think they probably still are. Let me show you the buoys.
Um, here we go. Yeah, you see the storms here is too low, but look at all the buoys that are pulsating. So all along the Ring of Fire here, all along California, uh, down here in Mexico, look at all the buoys all around the Ring of Fire here. Uh, even one in here off of Long Island is going off. I don't know how and why that is. Uh, but to understand it a little bit better, uh, you can see that they're being impacted by I guess the plate tectonics shifting, um, but I'm here in Long Island. This thing's uh, pulsating because it was disrupted. I don't know how to read these, but if you click on it, it gives you the, these waves that are normal, but yet somehow there was a disruption or a quick drop in the, in the wave itself. If you click on the details, you get a better picture of that. Um, so here you can see there was a rapid drop in this wave, which is not normal for that area. Uh, and here you can see how it lasted uh, for a measurable amount of time that put it in event mode. And somehow that resonated around the world, literally around the world, this uh, 8.0, uh, 8.2 was felt from Mexico. But no others. Where where are the other buoys? No other buoys are uh, off Long Island. None of these along shore. You see two buoys going off. It's kind of strange if you think about it. Now there are bubbles coming up. I don't know. Um, we'll take a look at the path of that hurricane. Uh, these hurricanes. There's one, two, three. I think there's actually another one. A fourth one developing too, off of. Uh, where they all develop off of Africa, west coast of Africa. Uh, environmental pollution in Denmark. What's happening in Denmark there? Environmental pollution four hours ago. Danish police said that they have opened an investigation into the spilling of some 52,000, I'm sorry, 5,200 gallons of diesel fuel in a harbor. Oh man, that's got to smell disgusting. Uh, police said in northern. German border said the oil spill came from a tank at the harbor belonging to a hydrocarbon storage and shipping company. Um, it spread into the harbor. Police say the spill that started Thursday has been contained, but a few birds have been euthanized. Authorities said Friday they were letting the disease, the diesel oil evaporate. What? They're not cleaning it up? Denmark, you're supposed to. You're supposed to clean it up, not just let it sit there and evaporate. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Uh, so, looks like you got that to deal with. Um, but how did that spill? Was it an accident? Was it deliberate? What, what's happening? Did, was there a, uh, an explosion? I don't know. It just says a spill. But we did have another um, gas uh, leak. I'm going to add to my list here. Among, among um, all these other things happening. Uh, so all these other events here, all tsunami warnings, 3 feet, 10 feet. Um, if it's in a low-lying area, yeah, that could be a major problem. 10 feet of water, a 10-foot wall of water coming your way. You know, think about the average height of a person, 6 feet tall, and go another 4 or 5 feet above the average height of a person, a wall of water. That's a problem. It's definitely tall enough to swallow cars, so um, I don't know why it's not being more made of a bigger deal uh let's see um epidemic hazard usa state of california oh event into space this was interesting it was a uh a big ball of light that was reported over um up in canada uh, and they don't know they can't confirm that it was a meteor they don't know what it is but they did hear an explosion too later on oh uh, here's the uh hazmat we're going to add to the uh list here of uh uh, the ammonia, chlorine, and gas leaks going around around the world. Um, James Bradford of the Bray, Bradley County Sheriff's Office says a firefighter responded to the Wacker uh, chemical plant has been taken to a nearby hospital due to heat exhaustion after a second leak at the plant. Um, uh, the wind shifted 
near the plant. Residents living up to one and a half miles south of the Wacker's Wacker plant, chemical plant, should stay inside until notified otherwise. As a precaution, residents in the area should not use their air conditioned units. Crews have closed Lauderdale Memorial Highway between uh, Highway 11 and I-75. Bill Thoth, Director of Corporate Communications for Wacker, could not answer when uh, when asked if there was if there is a danger to the public, uh, Thoth said they were busy mitigating the incident and will release a statement later. The Bradley County Sheriff's Office released a statement about an explosion at the Wacker Chemical Plant um, in Charleston, Tennessee, Wednesday around 4 p.m. At approximately 4 p.m., an alleged explosion was reported to the 911 Communication Center from the residents around Wacker Polysilicon, located in Charleston. Um, to determine, de- uh, we're able to determine by first responders a mechanical failure caused a l- plume of low concentrated hylochloric acid. Are you serious? Oh my God and formed a cloud that was invisible within a portion within the Charleston area. Students from Walker Valley High School students sheltered in place, and elementary school students were transported to the middle school. Parents had to be picked up. Additional residents within the Charleston area were advised to shelter in place and to turn off HVAC systems, the big air conditioning units on top of the roofs of buildings, uh, to minimize exposure of this Hydrochloric acid. Are we at war here? What's going on? Oh my God. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be uh, updates on this as well. All right. So I'm definitely going to copy and paste this. Then I'm going to take a quick break. I, I don't even know. I'm going to copy the whole thing and settle it out later because that's uh, they they don't release all the big information all at once right in the beginning. Okay. Um, I know you guys can't see this. I'm just copying and pasting this uh, this whole information here. Paste. And then save. Right, I'm taking a quick break, folks. I'll be right back. I will leave you up the map so you can see that of what's going on. And uh, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Where's my glasses? Right out there. No, where's the map? Map, map, no map. Oh, the internet's really slow.
All right. Oh, I'm keeping my sunglasses on, actually, because you guys can't see me. So, uh, I was just looking at the um, quick YouTubes, too, as well. Uh, Paul Begley is just announcing that Kim Jong-un is about to set off another missile test. Uh-huh. Right. And we'll just sit back and talk about it. That's all. That's the new policy. Talk. Where's Patterson when you need it? General Patterson. Somebody dig him up from the grave. Someone with some testosterone. I think that's part of all the chemistry, the uh, cocktails and the chemistry of these chemtrails that are being sprayed on us uh, is the lower men's testosterones because the, it's really disgusting and pathetic how so much talking and tolerating is going on too as well in this world. There's some, I just saw a law, well, two laws actually that are really pathetic. One is in California about if you're like insulting somebody or something and calling them, you know, names that are relating to their sexual gender or something, you could go to jail. And how uh, about a year ago in Canada, if a child of a parent decides that they want to be the opposite sex and the parent has a problem with that and uh, attempts to sway them into not doing that or prevent them somehow, that the parent could lose the child and they could go to jail. I'm not kidding you. This is just, just insane how this world... And I laid this all at the feet of Barack Obama. Because he went on a campaign around the world to every nation that he could and promote homosexuality and how it should be tolerated and how it's okay. You know the impact that had on the planet? It's just disgusting. It really is. I mean, I mean, what, Trump should go around now and promote Christianity. How's that? And denounce homosexuality. Tell men to be men and women to be women. Have children. Stay at home and, uh, you know, play your roles as the Bible tells you to. It's disgusting. It really is disgusting. Pray over it, folks. Hate the sin, not the sinner. Love everybody. All right. So, uh, besides these uh, tsunamis that are just and nonstop and these uh, aftershocks, uh, we have these events in between here. Um, let's see. And this is going back a day ago, so... Uh, we covered the events yesterday from all the rest. No updates or anything else. Let's get into some earthquakes here. Um, there, for the past days, the past 100 earthquakes uh, over the last, whew, man, it looks like we got more than 100. I can't, I've never seen such a large list here. But they're double spaced, actually. So usually these are just one line. These are taking up two lines. Uh, so they're saying this is over the past 15 hours. Uh, starting about 13 hours ago with the 8.0, um, Alaska, Alaska got hit, a couple, 4.7s in Alaska, um, doesn't say what part of, oh yeah, there's Nikki, uh, Nikolsky, Nikolsky, uh, then the aftershocks in Mexico, uh, one, two, three, four, 8.0s, one of them an 8.1 in Mexico, aftershock. 5.7, 5.7 aftershock. Utah hit by two 4.3s. All the rest are threes or sevens or, I mean, <laughs> uh, twos or threes. I'm looking at 3.7 in, uh, in the Caribbean Sea, Dominican Republic. Uh, 5, 4, 5, 5 in Mexico. Uh, okay, this is closed by Iceland. I don't know why they, why they call this the North Pole. North Pole is north. And he can't, he can't go up there anymore now, on this map at least. Um, but I will, on the other map, so they're saying this earthquake 4.7 happened over here, and they're calling it a, the North Pole. But we all know the North Pole, and again, this won't let us do it, is all the way up here somewhere. So this is where this is what they're calling the North Pole nowadays. More lies, propaganda. Okay, uh, moving on. Let's see, 4.3 in Iran, uh, one hour ago, two, uh, two 5.3s 
in Mexico. Mexico, 5145. Uh, the rest are in the normal, usual suspects. Greece, New Zealand, uh, Japan, 4.9. That's not good. Uh, New Zealand, New Zealand, 4.4, uh, 4.7, twice in Mexico, 5.1. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of what's happening around the world. Let's go to our YouTube uh, subscription channel and see whatever, everything else that is being reported. Under subscriptions... All right, um, bug out bag, signal for rescue, breaking North Korea to test missile or nuke at any moment. Paul Begley just reporting on that. Um, messenger of the Apocalypse Channel um, saying Miami, a ghost town soon with a question mark. Mass evacuation underway. Uh, Ron Paul Liberty report, the colossal era from peace to, to Europe. The peace to empire. Paul Bagley, breaking President Trump warns epic storm Hurricane Irma is going to hit. BP Earth Watch did an update on the uh, 8.1 earthquake in Mexico, kills 24, world's largest cocoa seed. All right. JFK, the truth, must watch. Uh, Shill Stopper. Is the name of the channel. Uh, it's wow, almost three hours long. That should be good. Any of those into that? Um, climbing a coconut tree with no tools. Dominican Republic. Um, the Wooded Beardsman. How to make homemade non alcoholic antibacterial. That should be good. Mouthwash for bad breath. Uh, well, gum disease and gingivitis. That should be interesting. I would say that's probably peppermint or tea tree oil mixed with some other oils and uh, putting it together. Hey! It's coming over. You scared the shit out of me. Mm. Oh, no. Doing? I'm in the middle of doing my ministry broadcast. <laughs> Live. Don't even call him over here. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna ruin the ministry. I'm mean, I'm broadcasting live right now in my Christian ministry. Don't say anything bad. Okay, uh, have fun. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus Amen. loves you. Uh, my my Jewish friend there. Uh, <laughs> I had to make sure he understood that. Um. Okay. Where was I? Uh. Yeah. So that uh, antibacterial things. A lot of things you could do. Even something simple as um, hydrogen peroxide diluted 50 percent. And, uh, you know, wash that out. Uh, let's see what happens to your body when you start taking fish oil. I think this was every day. So many controversial stories you hear about that. Uh, White House uh, press briefing with President Secretary Sarah Sanders. Love, love the shakeup. All the new people. Get rid of all that swamp. Lock up Hillary already. Jesus, what are you waiting for? Why Obama is a criminal... Chris Dan Hall show. That's a long list, Chris. It's only 38 minutes long. <laughs> that should be a part one of 10. Uh, weekly address. Trump did official Hagman report. Uh, Doug, Ma Doug Hagman's opening monologue on the Hagman and Hagman show. Dabu77. Irma is going to devastate the U.S. Um, FEMA head warns. Okay. Um, Paul Begley, we remember 32 dead, he's saying, in Mexico's earthquake. So that's going to rise probably into the hundreds. Uh, let's see. Oh, this was uh, interesting yet uh, shocking to see at first. Um, if you guys know anything about bee farming, they get what thing, things that are called uh, mites or uh, uh, vara, and they really, they could really wreak havoc on a, a bee colony. And... Um, if they're not kept in check, if you don't have certain screens when they fall off to fall to the bottom so they can't get back up. And this guy takes this powder. I don't know what it is. It might be, uh, hopefully it's not 
I don't know what it is actually. It looks sort of like diatomaceous earth, if you guys know anything about that. So like baby powder, I guess. It gives it's harmless to the bees. Um, but what he does is he takes a handful of bees, puts them in there with the powder, shakes them about, and shakes out the mite, the mites, and you can see them on the bottom there. Primitive skills, primitive technology, pillow. Piece of wood. There you go. Um, or in the earthquake, and video showing the earthquake, more in the earthquake, uh, more in the earthquake, okay, Hurricane Irma and Jose, uh, they could collide and become one, that would be horrible, I don't think that's going to happen, depends on the speeds, um, but one after the other, I don't know which is worse, Turkey helps, Israel bomb, Turkey helps row, can't pronounce it, Rowinga, Israel bombs Syria, U.S. weather. This is by, by Morris, 108 Morris. Somebody please give Morris a dollar. Literally, a dollar. One more. Eric Berg, the amazing health benefits of green tea. Messenger of the apocalypse. Uh, Mexican president, strongest earthquake in the last 100 years. Uh, was the 8.1 Mexico earthquake caused by a harp? Possibly. Video shows flashlights moments before the earthquake. I think that's supposed to mean flashing lights. Oh. Right side broadcast news network live coverage 8.1 earthquake. This was uh, 12, how about six hours ago? Wow, three, three and a half hours. Um, a lot of people all over this. Christmas bar. Tanzan. Edward, why are you doing? You're doing a lot of weird stuff lately, Edward. You all right? I guess he likes his cartoons. Some people get excited about that. Common Sense Show. Why did Awan frame Wasserman Schultz? Uh, we live in a medical police state. Common sense show. Uh, long, uh, the island of uh, Barbuda no longer exists. Uh, by the common sense show, people of N New York City have lost their sanity. I could have told you that. <clears throat> A uh, rare, severe magnetic, geomagnetic storm is hitting Earth right now. <coughs> uh, out of gas, food, and luck, the Grim Reaper approaches. That's a, uh, hurricane's passing there. Uh, full Spectrum News Network. I did not, uh, Full Spectrum Survival. I didn't check him out. You know, he always has a good, uh, quick, there's a three minute, 47 seconds long update of what's going on. I'm like three hours. All right. Hurricane Irma, state of emergency, deadly storm surge warning. Uh, a baby's worst enemy says the dreamers have a right To life expect, except when they exit their womb. Uh, just put her away in an institution already, Hillary Clinton. Uh, debate. Uh, does the Quran promote peace? Uh, check him out. Act 17, Apologetics. Dutch Sense uh, did a isolated video that went off about an hour. About an hour after he went off air last from last night's show. Um, that's when the 8.0 hit. Okay, day 231 of uh, Trump's administration. Um, Bravo Alternative Media has a video 15 minutes long here. The Pelosi Schumer Trump Coalition and Nancy telling Donald what to tweet. That's funny. Uh, Seventh day truther. Seeker, Seven Day Truth Seeker, A.J. Ajassi, Ajassi, 1844, the uh,
planisphere and octants. Earthquake Master, 8.0 Earthquake, Israeli News Live from uh, Stephen Ben Danoon, reporting on the earthquake. Dutch Sense, um, oh, he did a five minute uh, video as well. Dutch Sense, Earthquake Forecast, Threat of Every. Oh, that was his show, okay. And 12 hours ago, Paul Begley. 40-day solar eclipse warning. Georgia orders 540,000 um, to flee Hurricane Irma now. Uh, that was uh, last night's show for an hour. I did into thin air. Hurricane Irma model have shifted west. Answers for North and South Carolina. Okay. Um... Brother John there did his show last night in Spirited Network. Electronics and more. Free energy, radiant energy collector. Let's see, 13 hours ago. Um, Ultimate NASA fanboy showcase. I don't know what that is. Days of Noah. Live stream, current events, and much more. Dabu777, that's his other channel. He's got the two sevens and the three sevens. Irma slams Turks and Kayok, Cocos Island, I don't know how to pronounce that. Tehran is not our enemy. Sarin Nashat and Jake McCandless, the official Hagman report show last night, three hours long. <clears throat> All right, that's about it, I think. Florida runs out in short supply of water, of course. All right, that's about it. <clears throat> Just freeze the rest here if you guys want to go see what it is. My voice is running out. Oh, uh, Equifax had a, had a uh, cyber breach, security breach. 143 million people's identities have been stolen. This is back in, <clears throat> I think in July. <coughs> All right, let's close it up. My, uh, my voice is gone. Okay. Well, to all you uh, Sabbath keepers out there, happy Sabbath uh, later on today. And uh, let's close with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this ministry of preparedness. Please be with all of us around the planet, Lord. Um, help us to pull through uh, these trying and hard times, Lord. Help us to rebuild our lives. Please be with those that have lost loved ones, Lord, especially um, elderly and parents and children. Uh, help us to rebuild and uh, help each other out, Lord. Um, and help us to all glorify your name along the way. Uh, we ask that you please um, bless each and every person that uh, sees this video and help them to understand your shadows of things to come, that they may be um, open to other interpretations and that they can uh, come to an understanding in their own personal lives of these shadows of your law and your ways as events unfold and understand that they are uh, catalysts that will come that uh, to be unexpected and to be prepared for these laws as well. Please help us, Lord, to uh, migrate, Lord, for a 100-year survival plan in the wilderness um, should these events continue to unfold and when the uh, your son comes as well uh, to uh, deliver this same message to our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, folks, uh, if you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ, you can do so right here, right now, uh, by repeating uh, these, this simple prayer, whether you're watching this live or in the broadcast, um, in the archives. Uh, simply bow your head. If you can, get on your knees and pray to the Lord this simple prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, please forgive me of my sins. I repent and confess of my sins to you, Lord. Please write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. 
wash me in the Lamb's blood. I believe in your Son, Jesus, that he is the true living Son of God. I believe he died on the cross for my sins. I believe he rose from the dead. I believe he ascended to heaven. And I believe he's coming back again. Please have mercy on my soul, now and at the hour of my death. Baptize you. Um, then get yourself a Bible. Um, and so you can study the Word. Get a decent sized one too. You don't get the small ones with the small print. You get frustrated trying to read it. Um, if you want a waterproof Bible that floats, great time to get one. Uh, $99 on our website, onedropshower.org. Uh, that's onedropshower.org. Spell it out, O-N-E. And uh, you can also make donations there and check out other links and videos that we have there. Uh, if you need emergency survival supplies, go to ambertracks.com. That's amber like the color, tracks like the railroad tracks. Put them together, ambertracks.com. And then for bunker, if you want to build a bunker, uh, you can hire me as a consultant. I'll get you the best company, the best prices. Uh, here on the northeastern United States, especially in Long Island, where I am from. See you again. Bye-bye. Take care.